Today is Saturday, April 11th. What's up everybody, Donnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be fishing for food, man. Uh, we're gonna be targeting flounder, um, sheep's head, maybe pompano. We'll see what happens. We're gonna be targeting fish that we can keep. I'm super excited, man. Should be good today. Hopefully we get lucky. Stay tuned. There it is, guys. <laughs> My camera person was in the truck, so that's a keeper right there, man. He's got to be 12. We're going to measure him just to make sure, though. All right, man. He's got to be 12 inches. We're throwing him in the box. Oh, he's almost 13. He's 13 inches. Zero, 13, man. Let's go. <laughs> so I just whacked that flounder right here, guys, right off the seawall. We didn't get it on film, but man, when he hit it, I didn't think it was a flounder. I felt like I was snagged and I just kept grilling. And soon enough, it was a flounder. Same technique, just dragging that lower along the bottom, man. Oh, it's a little red. <laughs> Got a little redfish, guys, fishing for flounder. A little red bear right there, man. Pretty cool little dude. He's not fish to keep and eat, though. He's illegal. Out of season, undersized, all that. All right, we're gonna let him go. See you, buddy. That was a surprise catch. I thought it was a flounder, man. He, he was hugging the bottom when I had him on. Man, we've been all over the place today. We're at John's Pass right now, but uh, that last redfish I caught, man, that was so unexpected. It had me excited for a second because I thought it was a big old flounder, the way it was fighting because it was hugging the bottom. But I think we're gonna fish for flounder for a little bit and then uh, switch to pompano. Fish. We're gonna throw on some pompano jigs and jig for pompano and see what happens. All right, man, here we go. We're throwing on, throwing on the pompano jig. The white with the uh, the yellow jig, white teasing with the yellow jig. Water's starting to move now. Um, it's not ripping out, but hopefully there's a few pompano around. Only one way to find out, right? So yeah, like I said, that water's not ripping out yet. It's slowly moving out. Hopefully there's a pompano out there that's hungry. No pompano, guys. Not a single bite over here, man. Don't know what's going on, but we're gonna switch back to uh, the paddle tail and try for a flounder and whatever else is biting out there. Let me show you the uh, the lure we're gonna be throwing for today. That right there is the uh, Venice Glow Slayer in the three and a half inch. I have it rigged up with the Z-Man Trout Eye quarter ounce jig head, 25 pound user four carbon leader, 10 pound braid, 3,000 size reel, and a seven foot two medium action rod. Just so I can cast, I mean, just so I can work that uh, the combo all day, really. Let it sink. The tide is coming in right now. Um, I think it's the very first hour of incoming tide. So the water's starting to slowly move. Hopefully it picks up, man. I'm just uh, slowly reeling it. Steady retrieve and then just twitching it every now and then just make sure you work in that bottom man if you guys have not seen my video on how to catch flounder i'll leave the link in the description flounder that's a good one baby let's go yes that's how you catch a flounder man just work in that bottom that's a nice one right there man he inhaled it look at that Prime time, baby. Get out there and get you some. Look at that. On the Slayer swim bait. Again, uh, quarter ounce jig head, the trout eye jig head. Man, this guy is aggressive. <laughs> he thumped it. All right, let's get this guy in the box. That's the uh, Venice Glow. Three and a half inch Venice Glow right there and a Z-Man Trout Eye quarter ounce. Check out the new Sims bag though. That's my new sling pack. 
got rid of the old one because it wore out. <laughs> I've had it for like two years. All right, let's get on some more fish, man. Some of you guys may know, when I fish for a flounder, I like to fish off the seawall like this here, where there's a structure on the bottom like rocks. Mostly sandy bottom. Uh, there's little patches of like uh, grass out there, but mostly it's, it's uh, sandy bottom over here. So that's where the flounder are gonna be sitting. I saw a few schools of like glass minnows swimming by, but they're not like spread out. They're not like thick out here. Wow, two nice bites, guys. Two really nice hits, man. God, thought I thought I was on it, but guess not. Definitely wasn't no puffer fish because the soft plastic still intact. Must have been a flounder. I'm gonna throw it, throw it back at the same spot, and just work that lure back. Hopefully I get one right here, man. Come on, baby. Literally, I'm just walking along the seawall right here and just work that lure. There's a flounder, baby. Let's go. Oh, no, it's not, it's not a flounder. It's a trout. <laughs> Got me excited for a second, little trout ski. Oh, that's not a little one. That's a pretty decent sized trout there. Not a flounder, but he's not the fish where we can keep. Oh, yeah, that's a... He wants to go. Oh. See ya. All right, y'all, that's going to be a wrap for me. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Hit that bell notification. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.